Deno is here and with that we have a question. Should I learn Deno or Node? Now most of you might be thinking, hey, Deno is a replacement for Node, so it sh we should go for Deno first. See, if the question is, should I learn Deno? The answer is yes. If you are coming from the Node background and if you have worked on Node before, you have built some projects and now it's time to upgrade yourself to Deno, it's a great choice, right? So learn Deno, it's in version one. And of course, when you say version 1, it will not have all the required features to build uh, huge applications, but it's it's good to get started with a new technology, right? So if you know Node, it's right time to move to Deno. So in future, when they have new versions, when they have new features, you can think about building the production level applications in, in Deno. And now if the question is, should I learn Deno or Node? See, given a choice between Deno or Node for learning, of course, you should go for Node. See, whenever you learn a new technology, uh, let, let's, let's talk about Node and Deno. They both are JavaScript runtime. So first you have to understand what is runtime, how, uh, how you can run JavaScript on a standard machines. And for that, learning Node will make much more sense than learning Deno. See, Node is there from a long time, right? It's, it's almost 11 years now. So in this 11 years, we have so many projects built on Node. There are so many documentations available. There are so many questions available on Stack Overflow. So if you get stuck anywhere, you know where to find answers for it. So let's say if you don't know Node and now if you're thinking, hey, let's learn Deno, there will be issues, right? So yes, initially when you, when you write Hello World and all those things, it will work. But the moment you start building an application and if you get stuck somewhere, you're gone. Because if you get stuck somewhere, you will not find answers on Stack Overflow. And of course, right, that's the one place where you find all the answers is Stack Overflow, right? So it's better to, to learn Node first and then Deno. So if you really, if you want to learn both, this step should be learn Node and then learn Deno. If you know Node, learn Deno. That's the next step. But if you don't know Node, that's the first step, right? So learn Node first and then go for Deno. See, the question is, will Deno replace Node in future? It might. And even if, even if it is replacing Node, it will take some time, maybe two years or five years or 10 years. No one knows the timeline. Now, why so much time? See, when you talk about a technology which is there from a long time, it's been 11 years, there are a lot of projects which are built on Node. And example, let's say, uh, when you work on Hyperledger Fabric or blockchain, so you use Node as a runtime there. Of course, there are multiple options available, but then Node is one of the one of the option. So as a, as a blockchain developer, I might be choosing Node to build my application. And if I'm choosing Node, and, uh, and by default now, Hyperledger Fabric is not supporting Deno as of now, so yes, in the future, if Hyperledger Fabric says, okay, now we are also working with Deno, then people might be shifting from Node to Deno, right? So uh, example work for web development as well. And then there are certain frameworks which are dependent on Node. Uh, so if those frameworks are, uh, are open to shift to Deno, then you can think about future uh, for working on, uh, on Deno. So that's the thing. So as of now, focus on Node. And if you know Node, you have worked on Node before, then think about learning Deno. Don't make Deno as your first JavaScript runtime environment. <laughs> so that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, I answered your question. Bye-bye, everyone.